In previous years, we've talked about an electric revolution on the horizon, but with now close to 30 million electric cars on the road and almost 20% of new car sales globally being electric, it's safe to say the EV revolution is here. As we know, Formula E plays a significant role in the development of electric cars, and the world-leading automotive manufacturers competing in the championship are the first to benefit. So, let's take a look at what Formula E's mighty manufacturers are learning on track, and how it's giving them the edge, pushing the boundaries of the tech that goes into their EVs on the road. Yeah, Nissan has an extensive experience in electric vehicles. We started more than 10 years ago to produce the very first mass-produced electric vehicle in the world, and we sold more than half a million cars. So, of course, Formula E presented the perfect opportunity to prove our experience in this technology. And meanwhile, we also announced our Ambition 2030, which is our uh, strategic objective to uh, convert our portfolio into electrified portfolio in all the key markets by 2030. So everything is pretty much aligned with our corporate strategic objectives as well. Formally it really is a place where you can innovate technology. You can develop the latest software and you can really push things forward. And this is something that Maserati has seen and we can transfer that knowledge directly into the road cars. Yeah, it's true that yes, uh, Performance is one of the first manufacturers in the Formula E Championship. Uh, it's, it was a strategic choice because uh, uh, the idea was to prepare the electrification of the brand. Thanks to the motorsport and thanks to the Formula E, then we have had, we had the experience uh, that helped us to develop our current range but especially we are doing the, the, the experience to prepare the next generation of the electric cars. Our philosophy in motorsport in general for Jaguar has always been about using our race program to prove technology on the racetrack and to bring that to, to future consumers. And that philosophy um, continues today with our Formula E program. So when we started the program all the way back in 2015, that was absolutely our ambition. And in our six years of competing in the championship, we have absolutely seen it developing, whether it's the use of things like silicon carbide, we were the first activity within our broader Jaguar Land Rover group to use silicon carbide. Now that's on all our, uh, we'll be using all our future production vehicles. We look at energy management, how we approach our energy management here in the race, and that software work is given a direct correlation in the case of the Jaguar I-Pace, giving it a 20 kilometer range increase just through a software over the air update. So no hardware changes for consumers. So there's many examples, but it's amazing to see that actually living and breathing now, as we always thought it could do. And that's one of the unique things about Formula E is the technology we're developing is still at a very early stage. So actually what we're, what we're contributing is really, really key for the future cars we'll sell on the road. Electrification in Formula E is pushed to the limit in terms of performance, uh, but more precisely in terms of the uh, level of uh, energy efficiency and the sophistication of uh, the energy management during the race. Okay, when you break in Formula E, you regen the battery, so you charge your battery. The same software is used for the road cars. The second pillar is the miniaturization. So today, the, the engine and, and uh, the, the inverter are very small in Formula E, so we are using this experience to do the same thing on the road cars in the future. I think the, the race to road technology is so important because uh, with EV cars they're still relatively new. There's so much development still to come and we are really at the forefront of that development. We've got engineers constantly evolving the software, working on hardware as well in the background for the evolutions that will come in the future and it really is an amazing place to, to push the limits informally. But definitely over generation three we want to be a, a championship contender and uh, in terms of uh, corporate objectives definitely Formula E will play a role in promoting our ambition 2030 plans so the full electrification of our portfolio worldwide. We need to use this uh, experience even to prepare and to work on the next generation of our road uh, cars so we want to stay here for the next years in for the, with the generation three, but we are working with you on the generation four that will come in the future. There we have it, an impressive display of machinery both on and off the racetrack, pushed to the next level with learnings from world-class electric racing. Making the cars we drive on the road faster, more efficient, more sustainable, quicker to charge, and even more fun to drive every day.